great to see you again. Oh, yeah, congratulations, big game. Great to yes, see you. Sir. How you doing? Hey, great to see you. see you, man. Hey, what did this game mean, represent to this locker room as you get, come out shirtless to the hey, post-game set? Hey, this is football weather. This is Green Bay Packer <laughs> weather. No better place to play Sunday night football uh, against the defending champs and uh, go ahead and get a dub. Hey, what does it mean to see this, this crowd hanging out and just supporting you guys so much? Man, it's awesome. We got the best fan base in football. Uh, we all know that, and it's an honor to represent that G, come out here and play games like this. And Coach Dungy was wondering, how could he get – Lift, sorry, lift looking like me. Man, man, I got you. I'm, I'm normally a leg day guy, but I'll give you the receipt. Okay, all righty. Hey, since Coach LaFleur has been here, you guys have been unbelievable in December. What is it about December football, Lambeau, and the Packers team? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it's right here. These fans, these fans, they show up no matter what the weather is, and they uh, they bleed green and gold. Um, you know, I think it's just a, kind of that maturation of our team. By this point, uh, we're normally clicking, and uh, it's great to come on the, the winning end of some of these games down the stretch. We were just saying, could this be one of those moments, one of those games for the new Look, Green Bay Packers, what do you see from your quarterback tonight in love? Hey, man, he's a leader of men. Uh, he comes in that huddle, and everybody uh, everybody would go to battle for him, man. And, you know, he's even keel. He keeps everybody calm and composed. And so, you know, there's some things that didn't go our way. Uh, we stay locked in. We stay focused. Uh, that all starts with QB1. What's different playing with Rodgers as opposed to playing with Jordan Love? Man, two different guys, man, yeah. two different guys. But, I mean, got to give credit to, you know, 12 doing his thing, man. Uh, but, you know, I got nothing but love for J-Love, man. And he, uh, you know, he's doing a great job. And, uh, like I said, it, it's awesome to go out there and play with him, grow with him. It seems like this last month, his chemistry with the wide receivers has just grown. Have they done more in practice, or what, what's been the secret to that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that started that started way before the game started. I mean, I remember he was, he was meeting uh, the young rookies uh, out after OTAs, out at the high school, was just getting reps, getting routes, getting everybody caught up to pace. And uh, you can see it. You can see it now. It's starting to come together. It's starting to gel. Look at this right here. Hey, Benson's first <laughs> touchdown I, 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 ever. I'm going to tell you, that. Jordan Love is an athlete. Absolutely. He's smooth. He's poised man. back there. Man. He I, looks good. I told him he has to start giving me a signal when he's, he's running my direction. I don't know if he's going to pass to me or run. I want to get a, go get a block for him. How does it feel being the featured guy since your boy Aaron Jones is down? Hey, um, you know, it's, it's never good uh, seeing a guy go down, especially, you know, somebody I'm so close to. Your brother? Um, I, yeah, literally, literally. On and off the field, that's my guy. But, you know, in that room, on this team, it's a next man up mentality. And, uh, you know, he's out there supporting me every single time, asking me what I need, keeping me composed, locked in. And uh, that just speaks a testament to what we got going. Talk about Coach LaFleur and the job that he's done. Typically, when you go from a like a future Hall of Famer from Aaron Rodgers to a, a young quarterback like Jordan Love, you guys struggle. But out here, you guys are having a lot of confidence. You were talking trash. Yeah. What happened? I think it's just the culture of the team, man. I think the culture is, you know, obviously the, the beginning uh, part of the season, it, it, there were some games that we were close. We just didn't really find a way to win those games. I think there's nobody in there that doesn't go to work and puts their best foot forward. We're all believing one, in one another, and that trust is there. That trust, that love is there, and uh, we just keep getting better, keep finding ways to win. Uh, you know, there's still a lot of ways to improve. Uh, there's still some plays I myself want back, uh, but you got to relish in this win. Wins are hard to get in this league. I need to ask you one more thing. We know Kansas City does a lot of stuff with looks and blitzes. It seemed like Jordan was going on a lot of long counts and false cadence, trying to see what they're in and changing plays. Is that something you guys worked on this week? Absolutely. We knew they pressured a, a good amount, especially in the last game we played them back in 21, uh, Jordan's first start. And uh, so we're just trying to be prepared for any look we can get. We practice, we practice, and, you know, practice preparation equals game reality. When you look at your guys' season as a whole, there's been good months, there's been bad <laughs> months, and there's been more good months. Now you're sitting here in December. How would you describe the wave you guys have been riding all year? Man, it, it's a roller coaster. It always is in this league. Uh, you know, it's, it's not predictable, but, you know, it's all about just keeping that one game mentality. We wanted to go 1 0 this week. We did that. And uh, we're going to enjoy this for a little bit. We're going to enjoy <laughs> yeah. this with the fans of Green Bay for a little bit. And then it's back to work. we got to go 1 0 next week. we got to let you go. Say what's up to the fans. Congratulations hey, on this win. Knock it off. The defending Super Bowl champs. I appreciate you guys.